Welcome to the second video of the fifth module in the course where we are learning how to write a proper research thesis. Now, in the previous video, we have started to discuss data collection. This whole module is dedicated to a data collection. So we have discussed secondary data that we can use for our research. Now, in these upcoming videos, we need to discuss primary data and methods that allow us to collect these primary data. And first such method, it's called observation. Now, this is going to be a bit longer video because we have to discuss quite a lot when it comes to observations, because there are two kinds of observations. One is participant observation and the other one is structured observation. Under the participant observation, we are participating on the phenomena and there are going to be uh, four ways. There will be a small diagram about how this participant observation can take place. Then and under structured observation, we are going to discuss advantages and disadvantages as well as some issues that are connected with uh, structured observation. So let's go for it. So when actually is observation a proper data collection method for us? Well, essentially when your research aim is concerned with what people do, because when you are trying to find out what people do, uh, the best way to find it out is to observe them, to watch them performing some actions. So if your research aim is sort of leaning towards this direction, then observation can be a great uh, data collection method for you. Now, as I said, we have two ways we, where we can go. First of all, the participant observation emphasizes is on discovering the meanings that people attach to their actions, because we as researchers will really become part of the phenomenon and we'll be able to find out these nuances of meaning that people attach to events or actions. Now, secondly, there is the structured observation. So in contrast, structured observation is quantitative and is more concerned with the frequency of action. So I think right now you can really grasp the difference between these two. So let's go for the participant observation first. I think it is quite necessary to go through the official definition. The researcher attempts to participate fully in the lives and activities of members and thus becomes a member of their group, organization or community. This enables the researcher to share their experiences by not merely observing, but also feeling it. And these last two words, feeling it, that's the important part. So the fact that you become part of the company, the organization, the community, um, you really can feel what others feel, your, your research subjects, the one that you are researching, what they are feeling, what do they see, and so that you, as, as you are performing maybe the same actions as they do, well, you can discover these thin nuances of meaning that they are attaching to the actions or events. And as well, this uh, sort of primary data collection can allow you to see the subjective feelings and subjective opinions. Because if we are merely observing, we will later on talk about the structured observation, that's very objective. You just see what really happens. But with the participant observation, you can discover the subjective patterns and the subjective feelings. So as I said, there are four types of participant observation, and here is a small picture for that. As you see, we have participant as observer, complete participant, observer as participant, and complete observer. And you see the upper half is when the researcher takes part in the activity, and so the lower half is when the researcher merely observes the activity. Now, the left half is about when the researcher's identity is revealed and the right half is when the researcher's identity is concealed. So, let's start with the complete participant. If you are a complete participant, you as a researcher become part of the phenomena, you become part of maybe the organization that you are researching and people do not know that you are a researcher. Usually it works the way that you make a deal with a manager or with the boss of the company that you are going to perform research. Now the employees, the actual cases of your research, your sample, they will not know uh, your identity, the fact that you are a researcher. What is an example of such research? Well, I remember some years ago there was a research running on that was interested in 
alcohol consumption uh, during on, on a workplace, so during the working hours. And you know, when you think about it, the only way that they can uh, collect the data about this is by being a complete participant, meaning that the researcher becomes part of the workplace and he can observe whether uh, the employees are consuming the alcohol, in what amounts they are consuming the alcohol, and so on and so on. Because if people would know that you are a researcher and you would be, for instance, interviewing them, of course no one would reveal you the truth. No one would say, yeah, sure, I'm consuming the alcohol three times during the day on a workplace. So these are the cases when the complete participant and, and observation is the right way for you to go. Of course, it, there is a thin boundary of, of ethicality, but well, you have to construct this data collection properly. Secondly, let's go for complete observer. Here, you do not really become part of the phenomena. No, 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 you are just observing in this case but your identity is concealed. The people who you are observing, they do not know that you are a researcher. This is actually a very common practice also in the organizations. For instance, in the supermarkets, when they are trying to observe the consumer's behavior when they are coming to these cashiers and they are going to pay for their shopping, for their groceries, they are interested in how... Most of my videos are available for free on YouTube. If you would like to check out full research method for business students course, which is almost four hours long, please check out the link in description where you will find a special discount code.